And welcome back to the Outer Worlds of Wavestorm Gaming. These guys apparently aren't hostile if I don't shoot them. So. Uh, Buster's with me. Clarence, big gay. Hey, nice form. Good delivery, too. You looking to join Captain Harlow's crew, huh? Yeah. All right, go on through. Neat. All right. Got my sights on you. Nothing to do but stand around and watch the stars go by. I could have got fucked up. Very sparkly, though. Wait. Thought I saw a prompt for a second. Construction mechanical, neat. Okay, well, apparently there's not the right way to go. Always room for ammo. Outlaw. Oh, now it's stealing. Now it's stealing. Oh, he's got a dog. I want a dog. Mm, not really much worth looting. Oh, I thought he had a robot dog, too. Well, hey there, Hullhead. Clawed your way out of the groundbreaker at long last? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see, or a you've aged, old man? That was awkward. Yeah, awkward. So, you took Felix under your wing. Kept him busy. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. That's a very bright shirt. He kicks things what need kicking. He does. The other way when he starts talking anti-corporate. It's a good arrangement. Hear that, Clyde? I've been making something out of myself. Oh, now you're looking so for his approval. Fool of yourself. I mean, sure his no drop kicks some pretty big monsters, so that's together. pretty sweet. I look forward to catching up with the boy. Or flying kick, whatever the fuck. Aaron, when the story tells you, push you, he's got care to Peter. Um. Yeah. I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy. That one day, he and I would change the colony together. That day has finally arrived. Easy there, Clyde. No one said nothing about throwing in with you. In case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. Mm. I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix. But neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's Mostly loyalties cool lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. What revolution? Loyal to me, spending his hand over my own crew. Go fuck yourself. Least reliable crew. Ship literally called... Mm. Yeah. I understand that Felix is part of your crew, at least for now. Surprisingly loyal. If the thought of losing him troubles you, then understand that you're helping him solve a problem for an old friend. I can just kill him. I want him. you to deal with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely. I don't get why in games. Do I go kill this person and bring back this easily removable or stealable thing to prove you've killed them? <sighs> Ratted us out to the board. I don't know. He's been an informant. Has been for years. When he realized I was on to him, he and his little cadre mutinied. Killed five of my own and tucked tail. Mm. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might. Rosanna. Lives on the groundbreaker last I checked. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. You think so? Maybe we should have a word with Trask. Get his side of the story first. Yeah. You'd be wasting your breath bandying words with that traitor. But if it makes you feel better, by all means. Mm. Remember, I want proof. Bring me his ring. I don't care if the hand's still attached. Here. See, if the hand is attached, Token. that'd be a much better proof in my eyes. Signature. Anyone who knows me by my works will know me by this token. Neat. Well enough. It's been a few years, but I still remember a thing or two. 
You had a chip on your shoulder. You'd argue over anything and you'd never back down. What do you mean, had? And for the record, you never could admit when you lost an argument. You see what I had to deal with? Neat. Let's hear it. Um... A revolution is the work of a lifetime, Captain. I've spent my life preparing for the day of Halcyon's reckoning. Everything you see around you is the result of that preparation. A base of operations, loyal soldiers, freedom from the board's oversight. Um... I wiped out your whole loyal soldiers and base of operations in the last episode on accident, mind you. In... What was it, like 30, 40 seconds? I really hope you have other bases. More people. Plan to overthrow the board. Yeah, basically. Uh, makes you think you're free. Hardly. The board is rotting from the inside. Tomorrow, next year, a generation from now, eventually, the board will fall to pieces. Well, now you sound like a Entropy crazy pepper. is the natural state of the universe, Captain. All systems inevitably dissolve. When that day comes to Halcyon, we will be ready. So your revolution is to sit on your ass and wait. The fuck? You need bound of outlaws yeah, basically. Not all revolutions involve bloodshed and fire, Captain. The purest act of rebellion is to live according to one's own means, independent of any masters. If you one say day, so. When the board is weak and Halcyon vulnerable, we may claim a piece of this system for ourselves. Until then, we bide our time. Like, they're not even doing the funny, terrible revolution thing and sending angry letters or something. They're literally just hiding out on an asteroid. Which, I mean, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with just hiding out and doing whatever the fuck you want, but... It's not a revolution. It's just fucking off into the, off the grid. The skies around Scylla are curiously absent of patrol ships. It's almost as if the board's sphere of influence is shrinking. Besides, our facility is well armed and located no, on defensible terrain. Again, no. If the board tries to lay siege to us, we'll make them pay. Mm-hmm. Something on your mind? Uh, Let's hear it. I was working on this plan for years. This is not years of planning? Drawing plans, biding my time. I never intended to spend my life laboring on the groundbreaker. When the opportunity presented itself, I did what I had to do. I left. You might have said something. Love to know. I had some ugly business in Scylla. If I told you, I would have implicated you. Hmm. Hephaestus controlled mining operations all over Scylla. Most of these operations failed. The company pulled out and abandoned their facilities. Mostly abandoned anyway. This one was running on a skeleton crew. My associates and I seized control in a matter of minutes. It took me less than that time to take out your associates outside. All right. Oh, wait, look at that big old toofy grin. He looks like a cartoon who is very happy with them big old teeth. I want a dog, damn it. If the board comes after us, we'll be ready. Yeah, you and your, what, 12 people? It's been ages since we had a good haul. No freighters, no jobs, no contracts in weeks. We're standing around kicking rocks. Right. Oh no, there's blood. You need your bleed. You are going right here. Hi. You here to join the crew? Probably not. Your uh, revolution sounds kind of shit from being perfectly honest. Uh, logs, please. Acquisition logs. It appeared to cat's meow. Whole contraband pharmaceuticals. Neat. Raw down, salvage cargo, ransom to crew, independent for getaway sticks. Subversive literature. Brought down, salvage cargo, crew joined up. Werewolf, engine parts, brought down, salvage cargo, crew jettisons, and escape pod. As usual, we're able to intercept these ships despite how cleverly they masked their heat signatures. Patron pulled through again in that tracking data. Didn't refuse charity. Memo. You need to wonder about our patron. 
when we opened up our scanners and sniffed the system for our latest Wildcat, signal from a corporate freighter nearby. It was hauling ten times more cargo than our target. Scan it, then a message come through ordering us to go after the Wildcat instead. So it doesn't add up. Yeah, they're using you to go after smugglers. Uses fools. Ooh. Pirate cold. Rule one, Harbor's a boss. Rule two, fuck the board. Are you still reading the pig? Wake up, you see this. The board already owes you. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck rules, fuck terminals. It's not a revolution if we're using the weapons they raised against us time and time again. What the fuck are you talking about? You're a jerk. The best way to run a revolution is to take their weapons from them and fuck them up with their own shit. There's a poetic justice in shooting a bitch with his own gun. That machine stole my bitch. Why do we even have one of these? Yeah, why? It's board approved. Why do they have vending machines, actually? Do you have more than one? But yeah, I'm calling it now. These guys are idiots. Who are basically just raiders who are being told by the board where to find other smugglers. And they're being told to go after those targets. It's As soon as they told you not to attack the board ship, even though you're supposed to be, you know, oh, fuck the board and all that stuff. Mmm, I'd have been suspicious about that one. I don't know why I'm jumping around on a rock. You seem stupid to me. I mean, it wasn't a pyramid scheme, but it's got the same basic feel. You know what I mean, Felix? Clyde's got a crew of his own, huh? Good for him. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger in mine, to be honest, and they're kind of stupid. Um, sorry about this, feels strange. I know, I know. Clyde comes off rougher than Mantis or Hyde. He's a good guy, though. Just gotta get to know him. Mm-hmm. You think he's using me? He wouldn't. Would he? I think he's also getting used. I think there's a whole chain of being used like bitches. Uh, he won't catch up with you until you kill Task. What does that tell you? You're pretty gullible. That he's probably using me. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I guess he thinks I'm still just some wide-eyed tenderfoot looking for a scrap. Yeah, Maybe we should go have a word with Trask. Get to the bottom of all this. Yeah. Yeah, boss? I don't know. It was an option. Never mind, let's go. Okay, well, this has got some intrigue to it, this little mission he's got going here. Because these guys, they're full of shit. And again, last last episode, right at the end. There's a proper encampment. Is it? Must be inside. I mean, the building's okay. It's got a nice little crater around it, but that just means high ground all around you. They wanted to siege this place. I mean, they just drop a bunch of snipers just outside the fucking thing. They hike up to the top and take pot shots until you run out of food. There'd be nothing you could do about it. You looks like you only got one working ship, and it's a tiny little fucker. Probably holds, like, what, two people? Oh, this, this place sucks, man. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Joy. Yeah, I don't want to side with the board on like any of these things, but they keep just putting up jackasses and people who are clearly cult members. Hey, Max. Yes. You really think we all have a purpose? That you know, Max is popular on this ship. Everybody's always talking to Max. I used to think that, but not anymore. Hmm. Then, wait, why do you sound so calm? Aren't you getting annoyed? Not in the least. But I do apologize, Dr. Fenhill. It sounds like I have annoyed you. Mm. Fine. Be that way. Yeah, she's mad she can't tease him anymore. And I only really like uh, Felix in giant armor, because he's my big heavy weapons boy. Anywho's back to what we was doing. Not just because that guy is fucking weird. 
let's say fuck him and go finish this off. I wish I could see the map and see which one of these was actually closer. We're in orbit over Cascadia, Captain. Neato. Regional. All the way over there. Oh, 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 oh. Wish I knew I could fast travel from my ship earlier. That would have saved me a lot of loading screens, Felix. Anyway, we got some heavy weapons. We going in to kick some ass. Wait a goddamn minute. All right, no, I know you. Okay, so. We still have to go in the cave, huh? Like, I thought we were getting these primal glands so that we, would, we could just lure everything out and kill it out here wherever we wanted. We're still going in the cave regardless. Oh, no, seems weird and stupid to me. Protective clothing something, brother. Whew, here we go. I haven't set foot in here since... Well, I'm ready. Yeah, right? Yeah, here we Maybe. go. Maybe. All right, well, this ought to be traumatizing for her, so, yeah. All right. I mean, they start. I mean, this is better than that place that she was complimenting a minute ago. Oh, this place is a well-fortified... No, cave. And even then, in a cave, I mean, they can only get at you from one direction. But, and again, the age of space and shit. You just drop something from orbit on you and collapse your cave. It's, you're just fucked. You're just fucked all the way around. Yeah, time's gone off too. So I guess we'll uh, get to this in a minute. Clara, who the fuck is Clara? We'll do it clearer next time. For now, like it if you liked it. Subscribe if you want. Share if you can and do what you want. I'll see you next time. Have fun.